Let's go to uh, Eric in Pennsylvania. Eric, go ahead. You're on with Diana Rossini's mom. Hey, Diana Rossini, thanks for saving the show. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you if the 49ers are the best-looking team in the NFC. Oh, Eric, if my daughter could find anyone that looked like Jimmy Garoppolo, I would be the happiest mother. Every guy she brings in this house, he can't change a toilet, he can't cook, and he looks <laughs> like a rat. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo is the best-looking guy in the NFL. She's always like, but, Ma, it's Tom Brady. It ain't Tom Brady. It ain't Tom Brady. Give me Jimmy G Italians all the way. <laughs> this is going well. Oh. Let's, let's go to, uh, you want to end it right now, Mike? Yeah, you're done. You're going on top. It's a good Italian boy. I just feel like I need to clarify. This is exactly how she sounds, and she knows it. So, sorry about that, Ma. Incredible. Let's go to uh, Fred in Texas. Fred, go ahead. You're on ESPN Radio. Hello, Mrs. Rossini. You should be very proud of your daughter. She does a great job there at ESPN. She has a lot of fans. But I got to ask you, in the unlikely event that the Cowboys would fire Jason Garrett and Kellen Moore is too young to promote, who are your top three leading candidates to be the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys? Mm. You know, right now at this point, the commitment Jerry Jones has to Jason Garrett, it reminds me of the love that Ricky, my husband, has for me since I was nine. <laughs> he never leaves me. Ever. Ever leaves me. But look, sometimes some girls like him, and I see him. He looks at Urban Meyer, and I get it. Jerry Jones wants a guy who knows how to win, and Urban Meyer knows how to win. That would make sense. I don't think he's going to go in-house, though. I don't think that's going to be the future. He's going to be tempted, but he's not going to do that. As for my daughter, she'll be on GMA one day, and then I'll think she's a success story. For now, she needs to work harder. I'm getting strong Marissa Tomei vibes oh, from my cousin man. Vinny. Oh, it's I a, like it. I just, I just like the phone cords wrapped everywhere. It's, it's electric. Amazing. Mrs. Can you, Rossini. Can you say Buick Skylock? Buick Skylock. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go to uh, Matt in Massachusetts. Go ahead, Matt. Mrs. Rossini, you and your daughter are both stars at ESPN, and you don't even need GMA. Uh, what sort of possible optimism should I have for the Bengals? And honestly, is it time to move on uh, to a new fan base, considering this ownership group doesn't seem to care about winning? No, no, no. you got to be patient. Here's what I like about the Bengals. they got a defense and a defensive coordinator who knows what they are doing. Do I think they probably need to find a new quarterback? Yeah, that's going to probably be the answer. But who doesn't need a new quarterback? <laughs> Everyone needs a new quarterback. Except the Patriots. <laughs> I mean, again, don't really like that Tom guy. But I think you should stick with them. I do think that their yeah, first-year head coach, give him some time. He's a smart, smart guy. My daughter covered him when he was in Washington. She knows him. She talks to him sometimes, I think, on the phone. I see his name. He's a good coach. Stick with them. <laughs> uh, three hours of this tomorrow. <laughs> Jack in uh, Mississippi, I think. I don't know. Jack, you're on ESPN Radio. Go ahead. Good sushi there. <laughs> uh, Kirk Cousins had two tough games this season and a couple really good games lately. What do you think about his future? I don't know who Kirk Cousins is. I have no idea. <laughs> One day I loved him. Another day I'm like, does this guy even know how to play? Like, who paid this guy? Who said, let's get him out of Washington and bring him here? Dan Snyder has made one good move. One. You know what it is? Get rid of Kirk. <laughs> let's go to uh, Mark in California. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thanks, Mark. Dude, love the call. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Mark. Just to talk. Get, uh, <laughs> Always calling about the Raiders. Uh, uh, I think Derek Carr would be a f wonderful son-in-law and maybe Chuck is a uh, father-in-law. What do you think about the Raiders? I think they're doing pretty well. Kansas City's helping us out. What do you think? I think the Raiders started the season with all that Antonio Brown saga. It made it very difficult to even like them. But then they come out there on that Monday night game. They bring it on to the Broncos. It unites them. And then they stepped in a couple booby traps there. But here's what I like. John Gruden and Derek Carr's relationship and him understanding the offense, there's a difference between understanding the offense and actually understanding the why. And Derek understands the why of this offense. <laughs> and you know what? I think that the Raiders, they're going to start picking up steam here, and you're going to be a happy, happy man out there in Oakland and maybe Vegas, and I'll meet you there. The greatest segment in the history Whoa. of radio. Uh, you're going to win a Marconi. Oh. Let's go to Nathan in Arkansas. Nathan, go ahead. You're on ESPN Radio. And what about Sammy Watkins? What about my Chiefs? Are they in a tailspin, or are we going to pull out of this? Which one? Your Chiefs need to figure out how to protect Patrick Mahomes. You live and die by Patrick Mahomes. So if I were you, I would just 
start maybe thinking about joining another team because <laughs> I don't see them improving that. That said, you're lucky, though, because I think Patty is the future. You're lucky. You got the one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Sammy Watkins, once he gets healthy, it's certainly going to help. Tyreek Hill coming back last week, a good thing, but I still think it's going to be more time. But that run defense, <laughs> stop talking about Sammy. The run defense is what you should be worried about. <laughs> Standing ovation. I, I don't wow. Know. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like unbelievable. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app. And if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN Plus. See you soon.